we're gonna make some chickpea omelets it's black salt it's not black it's pink it's called black salt color namak for anyone who is um, familiar with the indian fortified black salt um, that will make things eggy because it smells very eggy and it will um yeah so the property of it is to make things eggy so our omelette today we're gonna make um we're gonna make a filling first i've got some lovely vegetables i've got like a purple aubergine a couple of carrots i got some fennel as well with the trimmings um some ginger and i've got some vegan mozzarella slices which is going to be really really amazing um and i've also got a tomato which is for more only because um i'm the only one in this house who likes tomato so um more for me and yeah and then we're gonna put that aside and make our omelet and then fill it and there we go and then we eat so our omelette itself is going to be made with chickpea flour also called gram flour so we're going to use some of this with some um herbs and spices as well as um not marmite it's in it's just in a drawer um as well as some aquafaba which is drained chick chickpea juice it sounds horrid but it basically works like egg like an egg white so this is how we're gonna hold it all together um yeah and then we spice this a little bit with uh, salt pepper i'm gonna add some mustard in there i'm also gonna add some uh, for some crunch some uh bacon bits they are called bacon bits because they smell and taste of bacon but they're actually um high um dried soy pieces um, that are just i guess marinated and dried um, with like some spices that make them taste like bacon okay so first things first we are going to make our filling so for this we're gonna chop up quite a few vegetables so i'm gonna start with the carrot because the carrot is gonna take as a root vegetable a bit longer to cook so first thing first i've got this here done now I'm just going to add this to my pan. I I could just not use any oil in the pan because my pan is quite good. However, I'm going to add some healthy oil um, into this just to give it a little bit of a more moisture. Sounds horrible because we're not really using a sauce. I'm going to use some coconut oil. Um, so I'm just going to use a little tiny bit, literally like water tablespoon of coconut oil that I'm going to add with my carrots and that just hopefully make this boil a little bit ah. okay so next thing I want to chop up is our um, fennel so now I've got um, usually so I've got half a fennel here and the top so this is usually how a fennel looks like just as a whole as a bowl I'm gonna use the whole fennel, so I'm gonna use the top. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna uh, is the dry bit here that I'm gonna chop off. But the rest I'm gonna use, including the fennel, and especially um, those kind of fennel. Oh, I don't think know hairs. <laughs> the fennel hairs, because they are again really, really good, really nutritious. So I'm gonna add this to my pan as well, which is heating up slowly but surely. Yeah, and our um, aubergine doesn't take long to cook at all. Again, I just take some of the dry part off. And then, yeah, take a little piece. And start doing the same thing here. So I just slice it and then chop it into sticks. And from the sticks. There we go and chop it to a few. Um, I'm gonna also add a tiny bit oops, of <coughs> excuse me, a tiny bit of ginger in here as well. So, and as you can probably hear, we are sizzling away. So our carrot and fennel is and fennel just smells so so lovely. So at this stage, I'm going to add my ginger because my ginger is going to infuse the whole dish a little bit. 
which is gonna make it all oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Go in. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What I'm also gonna use is a little bit of soy um, sauce that I'm gonna just put over just for a little bit of flavor then um, for the filling. I'm gonna just uh, add like a good jug of um, soy sauce and add a little bit of rice wine. Rice wine? Vinegar? It's a rice wine. Rice vinegar. <laughs> rice wine vinegar. Rice vinegar um, as well. And then just let my veggies take this in and cook down and soften a little bit. So this is my filling for the omelette, which looks obviously very soy, soy kissed. So I'm going to put this aside. Um, so I'm going to put this aside firstly now because now we're gonna go and make some lovely lovely omelette dough and then bake out some omelette so chickpea flour um i need half a cup that, that's about half a cup half a cup of chickpea flour and then we want to have a little bit of an eggy flavor, so we're gonna use black salt, kalanamak, a quarter tablespoon of it. It seems like a lot, but trust me, we want this. Then I'm gonna add some of our nutritional yeast, and I'm gonna add two generous like tablespoons full of this. And that's pretty much our um, dry ingredients. So what I'm gonna do before I put any wet ingredients in is trying to like flatten out and you know can you see all those like little bubbles there that the, the chickpea flour creates. So I'm gonna take out, um, I'm gonna try to flatten those out so we are not having any any in our dough later, any like clumps in our dough, clumps as well. And then mix all of this in while we're at it. I'm gonna add a little bit of baking powder because it just gives a nice fluff, fluffiness to it. And I'm gonna add, again, a quarter of a tablespoon of baking powder in it as well. Then I'm gonna add, while I'm at the dry ingredients, I'm gonna add my spices as well. So I'm gonna add um, a little bit of normal salt, just a tiny bit some paprika and that's mostly for coloring you could use um, and obviously a little bit of flavor um, but you could use turmeric so a lot of people use turmeric to um, to get like a little bit of a more <coughs> yellow coloring in then some standard black pepper ideally from the grinder because it's just more flavorful mix this in as well and then we're gonna need some water so we're gonna need probably um, a little bit more than half a cup of water and then I'm gonna use aquafaba which is chickpea water so if you have a can of chickpeas and you drain it that water if you collect it it will act like an egg so I'm gonna use two tablespoons of this as well because that's gonna act as our our egg basically or our egg white and then we're gonna add this in here and I've got trusted whisk and I'm just gonna whisk this up into our omelette dough I want to have a little bit uh, more flavor in there so I'm just gonna add American mustard just a little bit of mustard so literally just like two, two dibbledy dots and for a little bit of um, for the consistency to be a little bit more of an omelette, I've got a couple of tablespoons of uh, cornmeal. So I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of this, uh, which is basically polenta. We're going to add, and that's going to add some color as well. So I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of this in there as well. Now we're going to put our pan onto the heat. If you don't have a non-stick pan, make sure you add um, either way some vegan butter or some 
sunflower plant oil or some coconut oil into your pan so it doesn't stick because once we add so it's basically like pancakes you basically make it now or bake it now like like you would bake a pancake and this is what we're gonna do so we're just gonna try to make two lovely nice so this is heating up quite quickly because I used the pan before and now I'm just gonna add my my base in here so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna add the cheese now on top here actually wait um, so I'm gonna add the cheese here on top of my omelette which I just split so this looks quite cool actually let me chop a little bit of tomato as well for myself so I've got my omelette here which I added a little bit of cheese so now I'm gonna add my filling as well I'm gonna add a little bit of filling here in the middle but I probably won't need all of the filling here anyways and then I'm gonna try and flip this Flip it good. Flip it over. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> I say very professionally. Um, and here is our first omelette. Guys, I don't know if you can see this properly, but yeah, this is our first vegan omelette. So I'm going to use some tomato to, to decorate a little bit. So I've got some, some sauces here as well um, that I'm going to add to it. So I've got um, some ready sauces that are like my go-to sauces, which are accidentally vegan. So there's nothing in there that, that has any meat in it or any, any egg or dairy. Um, one of it is a jerk sauce. <laughs> Sounds horrible, but yeah, uh, like a Jamaican jerk sauce which is lovely. Um, it's tangy, but it's also a little bit like um, spicy um, Caribbean kind of sauce, tomato -y sauce, like a ketchup, but like a Caribbean inspired ketchup. Jerk sauce! It's lovely. It's so, so lovely. Have you tried it before? It's so, so good. <laughs> no, Nathaniel would drive the car. Awesome, <laughs> thank you. And the second one, which is actually Argentinian, is my chimichurri sauce. I love this sauce. I can't eat a chip wrap, which is, look it up, chip wrap, lovely, uh, without the sauce. So, um, yeah, so this is one of my favorite sauces. It's a, uh, an Argentinian um, kind of sauce made with parsley, garlic, and chili, and it's so, so lovely. So, yes, so we're going to add this. Um, let me make this bit. So, we're going to add this also to our um, omelette very creatively some drizzles over last but not least we've got our bacon bits which we also gonna drizzle over our omelette there we go we have a vegan omelette how cool is that it's got melted cheese in the middle it looks lovely lovely jubbly look at this how good is that? 